I'm going to take a few minutes in this movie to show you a few things about operation techniques in Ableton Live. And what I'm referring to here are the various options you have for performing tasks in Ableton Live. You can do many of the same things a variety of different ways using key commands, using file menus, using pop-up menus, and basically customizing your own workflow in Ableton Live 7 based on how you choose to create music and how you choose to work within the program. I'm going to start things off here by talking about creating tracks. You can create a track by selecting any loop and dragging onto the clip device drop area, or you could go to the insert menu and choose insert audio track or insert MIDI track. You could also use the key command, command T or control T on a PC to insert an audio track, or control shift T or command shift T to create a new MIDI track. And this is just one example of multiple ways to perform the same tasks, and Live lets you choose whatever you're most comfortable with to access this functionality. Let's look over here at the Show Hide buttons. Now, I've become very comfortable showing and hiding the various elements of the Live interface by using these buttons. But that's not your only option. We've also got the View menu. As, as you can see here, you can select any of these options from the View menu, or you can use any of the key commands that you see here on this list. So whether you are more comfortable clicking buttons, selecting options from the view menu, or using key commands is really up to you. The next thing I want to show you are the various menus that are available by control clicking or right clicking different elements of the Ableton Live interface. Here I am in the master track, and I'm going to control click or right click and view this menu here. I've got a number of options. I can cut, copy, duplicate, paste, or delete, rename tracks, a number of different things that I can do from this menu or by using these key commands. But if I click in a different area in the live interface, I see a different set of options. And if I click over here in the browser window, I see yet another set of options. One of the key commands that you'll be using the most in Ableton Live 7 is the copy command. You have a couple of options here as well. You can select a clip on any audio or MIDI track and control or Command C to copy, Control or Command V to paste. You can also use Control or Command D to duplicate. Or you could Alt or Option click and drag to duplicate. You can also access this same functionality from the Edit menu, Copy, Paste, Duplicate. And of course, Delete, which you can also access with the delete key. So this has been a look at a few of the things that are available to you in Ableton Live in terms of customizing your workflow, either by using file menus, shortcuts, or pop-up menus that are available in the Ableton Live interface.